What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got a special little task that we're gonna be working on. We're gonna be decking out a 2001 Club Car DS golf cart. Now, you might be asking yourself, what does that have anything to do with the electrical videos you've been posting? Nothing. I got some underglow lights to put on there and that's about all the electrical I got on this project. But That's okay. I've got a lot of different mechanical projects. I love tinkering with stuff too, so. I've got plenty more after this. I got the golf cart, I got jet skis, I got some stuff to do on my truck, I got boat, I got, yeah, the, the list goes on and on. So for 2020, we got some cool projects coming ahead of us that I'm gonna be documenting, I'm gonna be showing to you guys, and I'm really looking forward to it. But this is gonna take, I don't know, it's gonna take a little chunk of time tomorrow. And you know, you guys are gonna be coming along for the ride, but first things first is I gotta do, I gotta clean up the garage. Once I clean up the garage, I'm gonna show you all the parts and pieces that I got for this thing and what we plan on doing to it. And then, yeah, the next piece is just getting into the thing. Just jacking it up, putting new wheels and tires on it and all kinds of other little stuff we're gonna be doing. It's gonna be cool. And then we're gonna keep it moving. So stay tuned. here it is it's a 2001 club car ds this is a gas model um, other than like headlights and tail lights this thing's pretty much completely stock it looks like the previous owner had added this little umbrella thing to it for his uh, for his golf clubs but outside of that i mean it's completely stock the undercarriage looks pretty good the wheels and tires they're all stock everything's Everything's stock. And we got this whole bunch of parts to put on it, which I'll show you guys here in a bit. But that is it. That is her. She ain't gonna look like this for much longer. So stay tuned. I'm putting one inch spacers on the hubs. So the tire's gonna stick out from the cart um, a pretty good ways. So with these little side shields, side skirts, mud guards, whatever you want to call them, sitting off the side. If there's any rainwater or anything that's coming off of the tires, this will help catch that. That way it's not slinging up and hitting the driver or passenger on the side. So, got a set of four of those. Set them off to the side. These should be our armrests. Now, you can't have a rear seat on the golf cart without having some legit armrest. So I'm going to put your beer, so when you're sitting out back on the back of the cart, these guys are not resting their arm on a piece of steel pole. Alright, moving on. I think these are my wheel spacers. Yep, these are the one inch wheel spacers. So these will mount on the hubs and basically extend out, uh, give a little bit more width to the tire. I was gonna go with two inch, um, but we'll see how the one inch looks. Um, these aren't too terribly expensive, so if I ended up changing my mind and wanna go to the two inch, they're pretty easy. You just pull the tire off. Um, these lock down to the original, uh, to the original lugs, and you can pull them right off. So I've got two sets of those, one for the front, one for the rear. These, these are the hub kits. So comes new, new hub, new bearings. Um, we're gonna have to pack these bearings with grease. Um, new bearing buddy or hub cap, bearing cap, and the race for the bearings. These should be the front shocks for the door. So that's it. Again, these are pretty cheap. So I just went ahead and got them replaced. So when you purchase when you purchase the rear seat utility bed, um, you'll actually see that they really highly suggest that you get new leaf springs for the rear 
suspension. And I'll show you guys in a later video that these leaf springs, well, the stock leaf springs that are on there is literally only one plate of steel. I think they're actually thinner than this too. I could be wrong. But these are really beefed up. And if you read any of the reviews and stuff, they, re they highly suggest that you beef up this the rear. Um, that way when you load it down with, you know, two full grown adults, 150 to 200 pounds, you know, you're putting, you know, three to 400 pounds of weight in the back. Or if you're hauling something heavy, you know, you want to beef up the suspension a little bit. Um, so I went ahead and made the purchase. LED lights have come a very long way. I remember when rope lights first came out and there were still the incandescent bulbs in the rope lights and we started putting them up around our deck, around our outdoor bars and stuff like that. I think I actually got some old ones still at our Tiki bar, but nonetheless, the LED technology has come so far and the price has gone down so substantially that you can get these for pretty much nothing. So I got the kit um, that basically they stick right underneath of the cart and it's just, you know, multicolor color changing LED light kits that'll go up underneath. So when this thing, it's got a foot or 14 inches of clearance up underneath the cart, it'll shine down. So when we're, you know, going around the neighborhood and stuff and can have a little bit of underglow effect on the cart. I think it's gonna look really cool. So I can't wait to see these. Can't wait to see these light up. This is our six inch lift kit from GTW. Um, yeah, and this is gonna be a new A-arm kit for the front. And it's basically just rear knee spring blocks or spacers and they're pretty decent packaging. And there it is. pretty stout okay so yeah it's not stainless steel looks like none of this stuff is stainless which is okay i mean i figured as much for the price i was not getting some sort of stainless steel it's pretty much exactly what i expected to get i've already got into these because i wanted to make sure that everything was fine from shipping but there they are these are the mods 14 inch salt these are super nice i'm really happy with the quality of them and one thing i noticed that i was a little shocked at and i should have known better but these suckers got some weight to them man so i'm actually i've been thinking about it and the amount of weight that i'm getting to put on this golf cart it's gonna be pretty substantial um so we'll see how that little kawasaki motor does but i think uh i think we'll be okay I'm not the first person to ever do this, so. Um, these are Horizon X-Trail tires on them. Um, they're 23 inch tires, 14 inch rims, you know. I ordered them and this is white. Now I can't really tell from the lighting or what you guys can see. But this, yeah, it's white, but it's not, it's not like white, white, you know, there's, there's a difference. This is, you know, a white vinyl, like a pure white vinyl. This is more of an off kind of tan vinyl. Just keep that in mind. If you're worried about ordering it and you don't know if it's going to match up to your cart or something, if you have really brilliant, bright, like bleach, bright, white uh, vinyl or something, these are not really going to match up. If you have kind of that off off-white, um, kind of almost, almost like a beige, almost a beige, but still white. These will definitely match up. All right, now this should be the bracketry for the seat. There it is. You don't worry about that. <laughs> Um, so yeah, here's the actual little bed and instructions to go with it. So it's got a nice pattern, a little diamond pattern to it. It's got a little bit, a little bit of texture to it. Plus all the, the bracketry that goes with it. So yeah, no, it looks good. Pretty straightforward. And this will be one of the last things that we're gonna do. I'm actually gonna start on the lift kit just to get the thing set up and then we move on to this. 
put this on because I do I have to take the whole roof off um, as well as the basket and the little umbrella that's on there. I gotta take all that stuff off. So that is it. That is all the items that we're gonna be installing on the cart. Alright guys, well that's a wrap. Um I did wanna say that with all this stuff combined, I think I spent a total of about 1200 bucks. And there was things in there that I probably didn't need to buy, um, <clears throat> like the Bluetooth speaker and you know the mount and stuff and the LED lights. And I really didn't have to do all that stuff. I really wanted to do it though, um, just to kind of take the car to the next level. So starting tomorrow, we're gonna get at it and uh, I'll catch you guys then.